Hi, it's Miss Lisa from the St. Paris Public Library. Welcome to our summer reading cooking online class. Today we're going to be doing um, tortilla sandwiches and we're going to do three different varieties of tortilla sandwiches. We're going to do a peanut butter and jelly banana. We're going to do a chicken and um, cheese, a chicken and cheese and we're going to do a cream cheese and bacon. These are all ones that you could do um, at a campsite. The kids can make their own and you can wrap them in the foil and the parchment paper, which we talked about in one of the other cooking classes, is that you take a piece of foil and then you put a piece of parchment paper on it so that your food is not touching any of the foil. That way the foil, the aluminum doesn't leach into your food. So you can do those ahead of time and then just have the kids do their tortillas. So I'm gonna do three different kinds of them. And we're gonna start with the peanut butter, which I probably should have opened before I started. But I'm gonna do it now. I know it's not gonna come off, right? So Remember that you don't want to overfill your tortilla because it will it will run out all over the place and it'll be a big goopy mess. So just put a thin coat of peanut butter on there and put it all over the whole entire tortilla. Then we're going to use jelly. I bought Concord grape jam. I bought jam instead of jelly because it was on sale. So it's cheaper than jelly, and jam is always better because it's thicker. So we're just going to put maybe a table or a teaspoon on there, and we're going to spread it around with a spoon. Your kids can make these on their own, and if they don't like jelly, then don't put jelly on it. If they don't like peanut butter, you can just make it jelly and a banana one, or however. All three of these sandwiches can be done cold or hot. So I'm going to heat them all up and um, see how they turn out if they're hot, if they're heated. But they can also be done cold if you don't want to spend the time to heat them or you're somewhere where they have a no fire day where you're not able to cook. Um, you can do these warm or you can do them cold or you can cook them on the fire or your grill. Or you can heat them in a pan like a, um, like a, what do you call this? Fold that bad boy right over. Delicious. All right, we're gonna put it in our foil. It's just like a little peanut butter and jelly banana taco. So we're gonna put it right here in the foil. Oh, let's turn it this way. And we're gonna seal it up like this. And then we're gonna seal the ends up so that nothing oozes out into my barbecue grill. So there's the peanut butter. All right. Let's set this aside, and we're going to get another tortilla out. This one is going to be cream cheese and bacon bits. Now, you can use vegetables. If you have, like, leftover vegetables, you can do the cream cheese with the leftover vegetables. I bought plain cream cheese, not flavored, um, but it is the spread. It The other stuff was kind of pricey, otherwise I would have bought the whipped, but the stuff that you get in the in the stick is a little bit harder than this so you want something that's easy to spread because the kids will have a hard time spreading it if it comes from the block of cream cheese just like the peanut butter just put a nice even thin coat over top of your tortilla like that can you see that all right okay and then we're going to put bacon bits. Bacon bits are already cooked, so if you decide you don't want to heat it, you don't have to. You can just eat it cold. This would be really good with bacon, uh, lettuce, and tomatoes on it. You could make a bacon, lettuce, and tomato tortilla sandwich. I like bacon, so I'm going to cover bacon all over the whole thing. And we're going to get our wrap. We're just going to fold this in half like that. We're going to put it in our wrapper. Out. 
And then we're going to do our last one. We need another tortilla. You can make these based on what your kids like to eat. You don't have to add anything that they don't like or add different things that they do like. You can use the canned tuna or the canned chicken. You can use it. Um, you could probably use tuna too and make tuna melts, but I don't like hot tuna, so we're going to use the chicken. So I'm just going to take out some chicken, a couple chunks of it, like this. Best thing about this is that you can just get it right out of the can. You don't have to dirty anything to get it. And we're going to mash it because we want to spread it around. We don't want it to be all clumped up with big balls. So just mash it with your spoon like that. You can make these outside on the picnic table or you can do them in your kitchen. You can cook them in the oven or you can do them on a barbecue grill or you can do them on an open flame. All right, there's my chicken. And then put some cheese. I got, I have taco cheese because it does taste different than regular cheese. So I got taco cheese. I'm gonna spread that around. Quesadillas is the word I was looking for earlier. So they're kind of like a quesadilla, chicken cheese quesadilla, like that. Okay, our last piece of foil. And I'm gonna lay it in there. Close up my foil. And twist up the ends. All right, we're gonna put all three of them, even the peanut butter and jelly and the banana one, on the barbecue grill and heat them up. Now remember, you can use the barbecue grill or you can use an open flame or you can heat them in the oven anyway, or you can eat them cold. So let's get them cooking on the grill. All right, I'm gonna try to do this while I hold my phone. So I preheated my barbecue grill and I have my three tortillas. I have the peanut butter and jelly. I have the chicken and cheese and I have the cream cheese and bacon bits. I'm just gonna put them on the grill close the lid turn it down probably just a I don't want it too hot because it's already hot because it's already at almost 400 degrees and then it'll heat up a lot more with the lid closed and really I'm just heating these through so I'm just going to give them a couple minutes and then take them out all right so we cooked them on the grill let them cool off a little bit so it doesn't burn my fingers off when I try to open them and we're gonna open them up and see what we have. And hopefully they cooked long enough. It only took like five or six minutes. Cheese looks melted inside. Oh, they look good. Let me take a bite. Mmm. Mm. That's good. That's the chicken and cheese one. Mmm. That's good. Especially that Mexican cheese. Looks like it was pretty hot burn my parchment paper. Oh, that got really gooey. Let's cut a piece off of that one. This one is the peanut butter and jelly and banana. This would make a really good dessert. Oh, I don't burn my tongue. There you go. Mmm. Oh, it's still warm. Oh, that's really good. That's a winner too. Two winners so far. This one is the cream cheese and the bacon. And it's pretty warm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Three winners. Peanut butter and jelly with bananas. Chicken canned chicken with sh shredded cheese, cream cheese with bacon bits, hot or cold. See you later.